Hi friends. So, so many students are some, you know, um, guys are asking on Quora how to start with career in SIEM. So everyone knows what SIEM, right? So SIEM is a security incident or information and event management. So I'm talking about uh, one of the SIEM product called the Curadar. So if you Google like uh, IBM Community Edition, if you click on this, you are redirected to the IBM security uh, Curada community edition. So this is, you know, community edition and you can get this edition in OVA format. So OVA format, you can e easily import in virtual box. So I will show you, so you need to download this one. So if you need to click on here and you need to provide some details, account information uh, and yeah, if you are a student, yes, uh, then you how IBM can contact via email like that and you continue. And then you are directed to the a download IBM community edition. So it's a, if you see the size of this OVA file, it's 4.1 gig. Uh, so you, guys, you need to down, click on download and after download, you will get file like this. It's a Curada C733 OVA file. So then what next? So then you need to go to the, your virtual box and in virtual box, I'm removing my, okay, the previous one. And in virtual box, you need to click on file, import appliance, I need to provide Python of your OVA file. So my OVA file in Curadar community edition OVA file and here you go. Next. So here is the, you know, CPU can, uh, CPU two RAM is six uh, gig near about. And then I, I'm going to import, I will change my uh, you know configuration afterwards but yeah this is import started so guys we are just importing Curada community edition in our virtual box then i will explain you what are the minimum you know uh, size of your disk uh, what minimum course you required you can refer you know ibm community edition you know documentation and you can see what minimum uh, hardware required for that. You can read over here, like download and install, read the documentation. And in documentation, you can read. If you see here. Okay, so minimum eight gig required, then uh, 250 disk space, two CPU cores. Uh, so this is, you know, minimal requirement uh, to uh, have it. So eight gig, but yeah, you can work with six gig also. It's fine. Six uh, gig RAM is also sufficient and 200 disk space is sufficient. And two cores, yeah, I, I will recommend two cores. And if you have more cores, then assign more cores for that. So let's see. Yeah, this is imported. So right, just I'm checking what is the, you know, conf CPU cores. So I'm having this uh, RAM. CPU cores two, so I'm assigning, you know, three cores. I'm assigning more RAM. So I'm assigning, you know, nine gig. If, if you're having, you can assign. So it's, you know, execution is faster. So I'm assigning 10 gig processor, three uh, cores, storage. Um, it's assigned already. So I'm just clicking on okay. And just I'm starting my VM. So go to the view, scale mode. So you can get maximize your view. So I repeat um, what we did. We download, uh, you know, video file from IBM community website. Then we import um, that community uh, addition OVA file in virtual box. We uh, adjust our CPU cores and RAM required for that. And just I'm, you know, 
going to log in. So root and by default, password is password. P A W S W O R D. First time you need to change your password. So I'm going to change my password. Okay, so root, for root password is changed. Uh, so and remember your password or you can note down your password in your password vault. So you, know, uh, you can keep your track of your passwords. Uh, then what next? So this is not installations done. Just we, you know, we just imported and this is a minimal uh, sent OS. So if you see your cat, etc, red hat, so it's a sent OS 7.5 box and it's a minimal installation. Uh, I can see df or du hyphen h. Oh, okay. So minimal installation is done. So I need to install QRR uh, over here. So what I need to do, I need to set up. So dot slash setup. So you need to do this only. Okay, so I will repeat dot slash setup. Okay, then enter. So it will ask you press enter to accept the terms and condition or press control C to quit. So I am expecting terms, so enter. Then you will see the you know license agreement. So I ref prefer you know press Q. Uh, then again it will ask uh, press enter to accept the and control C for quit. So I am again I want to accept so enter. Do you want to continue? Yes. So in background it will check uh, requirement. Um, what what's your hardware? What's your CPU core and RAM? If you are not providing the minimal required by this uh, community addition, it will fail. And if uh, it found appropriate, you know, configuration, it will proceed. I recommend, guys, uh, you should have proper connection. I'm just giving you overview how to how you install this, you know, in quick glance. But in my um, particular course of QRR, I will explain you step by step how to install, how to configure step by step. Uh, but yeah, this is a quick glance. So I'm pausing a little bit uh, and maybe I can proceed when it's done. So, from M repo files, all packages are you know searched and updated. And now you know the core services of QRadar. Uh, if you see on my screen, host context is one of the core service. Tomcat is one of the core service, and there is a host uh, services. Uh, but yeah, so from three co three core services, you can see. Uh, we are about to, you know, um, complete the installation. So I I'm pausing this video again, so you cannot, uh, you know, get the big uh, length video and I will, you know, resume again. If you see the current status of installation, uh, it's uh, if you see the read the line console setup stopping services host context this is one of the core service host context tomcat and host services uh, setting tuning template to enterprise applying template and okay so it's about to finish uh, okay all QIDs are imported so let's we wait I'm stop I'm just pausing this one and I'm resuming afterwards. So if you see here, um, our core services are st started. So one of the core service, host services started. Tomcat, uh, it attempt, uh, you know, five times, zero to five, six times basically. And then Tomcat is ready and running and ready. Then HTTP and the now the next one is host context. So host context um, is a <coughs> basically, uh, you know, running and now, 192.168.1.106. 
So I hope this is IP for our QRadar and it's going to reflect in our managed host table, that is Postgres table. So let's wait for some time and yeah, I will um, pause for the moment. So you can see here, um, our IP, this managed host table entry is created and it shows configuration of host. Uh, so we I would not change the, and so that's why host name is showing localhost as com console completed. And now it's running uh, after services. So basically post activity after installation. So initial configuration of Kiroda console is now complete. You are now ready to connect to interface, press enter to complete installation. So I'm press enter. Okay, so as when we started installation, we set password for root. This is password for admin. Admin, basically we, we are using this uh, to log in from GUI, that is console. So I'm setting my password for admin. It should be different than your uh, root password. Otherwise, if one of this password is compromised, <clears throat> attacker can log into root also. So I recommend a root and admin password should be different one. So I set password for admin. Let's wait for some time. Okay. Then I will check what the IP allocated for this system. So etc sys config network script. Mm. IFC, FG, so ENP, okay, so let me see here. Gateway is 192.168.1.1 and I got IP for this my QRR box, 192.168.1.106. So let's go to Chrome, Google Chrome and then 192.168.1.106. 168.1.106. Okay. Go to advance, proceed. Because we don't have SSL certificate, so it's showing, you know, not secure, it's fine. So we know it's secure one, so I accepted. And now you need to log in as admin. And whatever you set password for admin, So accept the terms. Here you go. So now you install Kurodar Community Edition, and this is console of Kurodar. So you can see here different tabs, dashboard, offenses, log activity, network activity. We will discuss this further, but yeah, I hope this will help uh, to install the box and you can start your journey for SIM. Thank you guys.